Welcome to our World of Fiery videos, covering topics of everyday importance to print providers. Today we will cover Fiery Virtual Printers. A virtual printer is really about helping users automate the file print process. And we really want to help users get what they need for printing a job in a really simple step. What it does is creating a custom that's available for both Windows and Macintosh users. And what's nice is that the administrator creates them and actually applies a custom name. Having a printer with the predefined job properties will really help making printing from your applications very easy because users only need to select the printer that they need, and that way the job is submitted with all the right settings. An often overlooked virtual printer that I'd like to point out is customizing the default printer's hold and print. This is when you know that you want all the jobs that come to your fiery Perhaps you'd like them all to be printed two-sided or duplex. The administrator can make this the default parameter. So that way you're assured that any user that sends a job to print will always print in a two-sided fashion. Again, it's letting you control how you'd like your jobs to print. So let's take a look at what we mean by virtual printers. So I'm going to build a virtual printer from that preset that we created earlier. So back in Device Center, I'll select the preset booklet gloss and choose to publish it as a virtual printer. So here's where I can enter that name that the users would see printer. I can enter some information in the description again so everyone will know what it's used for. Here's the job action I was referring to. In this case, I'll select print and hold. And then the pre-flight again, I can enable what I would like to happen. And then I'll go ahead and select OK. So the virtual printer is being created. And as soon as it's done, I'll see a little message to let me know that it has been successfully created. Now I'll move over to virtual printers where now we can see my new FGS booklet settings that are created. And I'd also like to call attention to one little thing with this little padlock icon. I didn't mention it earlier, but virtual printers also allow you to lock a specific option. And what's nice about that is a locked option means that the user, if they were to open the virtual printer properties, could see that an option is there, but cannot change it. So the power of what the administrator has is any lock setting is a setting that an operator cannot override. This gives you a little more control over what you are setting up. And even though we created the virtual printer by publishing, if needed, we could also go in and make some changes with the edits. So now back in Job Center, if I have a job that's already in the queue and I need to apply the virtual printer, again, by going into the workflow, I could simply right-click and apply that workflow immediately. And then for the clients that installed the print driver, they'd open the documents they need to print, they'd select file print, and then in this case, we can see my FGS booklet is the virtual printer that I've selected. So again, virtual printer is really making it easy for your operators. Thank you for watching. For additional resources and e-learning classes on this topic, visit our website. To see all recorded sessions and register for upcoming World of Fiery webinars, please visit efi.com forward slash WOF webinars.